Hey everyone, Ewok Hugs, and today we're going to continue our calculator tutorial. So last time what we did was we set up our operation buttons using a for loop. We created a, me a method called operation push to handle what each button does. And today we're going to continue doing this because I just, I realized a kind of a problem that we have with this. So let me go through and explain this. When the button's pushed, it sets fnum, which is an int value, equal to value.int, which is a string of the buttons. But the problem is, is in our equals method, we have snum equals value dot uh, to int. And up here, we have it handle the equals. So what it does is it's grabbing the second number and replacing it with the first number. And... Uh, I mean, it's grabbing the first number and replacing it with the second number, and that's just not good because then we'll it'll be the first number plus the sec or um it'll basically just be one number because the second number would equal the first number and then it'd be the first number plus the first number and it just would not be good. Um, so what we're gonna have to do is handle this equals thing right here. Let's go ahead and delete this if statement and we will go up here and we will create an if statement up here. This is good because it shows more like professional like coding and um, yeah. So if i equals equals to no one because zero one so if it equals 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 um, then Let's put this line up there, and then we will put that, we'll keep that line down there, and then we'll say, we'll copy this line here, and we'll say equals, and then we'll say else, then, so what we're doing is we're creating all the buttons, but if i equals equals 1, so if it equals equals, we're just setting the slot to equals, so that button will just go directly to this here. And um, then the rest of the buttons still go to operation push, which is what we want. Um, also one more thing to do is in this clear, we're going to have to set fnum equal to 0, and then yeah, 0, and then snum equal to 0 as well. Okay, so that's about it um, for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. We just ran through some bugs, and or some bugs that would, like future bugs. Um, we took care of that equals problem, and we're going to continue on our lovely tutorial. So, hope you enjoyed, and see you next time.